Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife Melissa and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, guess what today is? Today is the day whew, that I head out in the old blue Cadillac to go see Hans and go look for a new home. Oh, it's so nice to have warmth in here. Honey, I'm home. Hey, how's it going there, buddy? Hey, it's the famous Hans. How you doing, buddy? Where's the famous guy? <laughs> how are you? Good to see you. So, Hans, you know, you never told us the story about how you fell out of a tree. Oh. <laughs> so what was going on? Well, you got to tell. Well, actually, I had just started doing the trade. I was 19 years of age. This is cutting trees down, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was 19 at the time. Co I like most 19-year-olds, cocky and full of piss and vinegar. Yeah. Well... I spun around on that branch, was right after it started snowing, got slippery up there. Fired up my saw, cut my safety lanyard, they come down 35, 40 feet, landed on my dog. You landed on your head? Yeah. <laughs> What's the first thing you said? <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, it's a good thing I'm a freaking Viking, otherwise I probably would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> and no permanent damage from falling on your head from 35? Uh, it just feet? made me goofier. Oh, there you go. Well, we'll take it. <laughs> I haven't even seen him in probably a couple weeks. Uh, certainly not since this whole GoFundMe thing has taken off. Um, so this will be the first time I see him. And my understanding is that he's pretty shocked. Um, so I, I don't know, you know, how the meeting is going to go. I imagine, I know he's feeling grateful for everything, but you know, well, I guess we'll see how this goes. where Hans was living. I knew he lived in town here, but I didn't know that the place he had had burnt down and he hasn't been able to replace it. There's charred remnants of something there. But he's been living in that little camper there, that old probably 70s camper for the last couple of years. No heat, no water. And he's just got the shiniest, brightest attitude ever. Well, let's see if we can brighten his day. Not home, but I think I hear him pulling up. There he is. There is the friendliest Viking right there. Okay. So Hans, I guess first thing I'll ask is how you doing since all this? Uh... Uh, I still don't believe it's even real. It's like, uh, can it be? Like, I appreciate everything you know, my followers and Alex's followers are doing for me. And I'm like shocked. I still have been like, I just don't understand I know. what's going on. Isn't it crazy and so amazing how many people out there were so nice and uh, you know, they want to take care of the Viking. <laughs> well, you know, I'm always helping out the seniors and stuff and I enjoy it. So, I mean, it's- Yeah, and you said you're not home very often. You're always out helping people, so. This... Yeah, no, I, 
but very seldom ever home as you notice today i was not here i was actually getting prepped for a roof for some seniors yeah to fix up the roof because the shingles are going bad and it's right beside where this one house that we're going to look at is so we'll see that right away before we go to actually the house yeah okay well, that way we'll have an idea what some of what uh, the stuff the crazy little viking is actually doing for people <laughs> Well, we're, we're happy to visit and happy to see you. So I, I'm looking over here and I see there used to be something here. Well, that used to be my storage trailer. Oh, your storage trailer. Okay, now you had a mobile home. Prepping. Oh, so some somebody broke in and destroyed your place? And that, now I got this mess to contend with and finish off. It looks a little better than what it did, but it's still not good. You got to haul it out. Where was your home that was here? No, the, the haul, the, my, my old trailer actually sat, ran from about here. Yeah down that way right beside where the uh gas the, uh the gas line is so just out this way but there's a lot of growth here how long has it been since your house burnt down uh, well you know shortly after i was working the rigs plus doing helping people out i had my footings actually put in to build a house here but then I been, got so busy that i just ran out of time and never got it finished so and how long has that been now that may be about two years. About two years, okay. And tell me about how you found out when your place was on fire. Like, how did you know uh, it was burning? Actually, you know, I just got back from the drilling rigs. I was sitting down having breakfast at the Riverside, which is a restaurant here. Yeah. Uh, I happened to look this way. I had trees just as tall as these spruce over here yep. in my yard. And that's how I was able to navigate where my property was. And it's like... Ah, why would somebody do that? That's just like that was in a shock. So what? Did somebody burn your place down, or or I'm did it? I'm thinking there again. Well, nobody was home, so who knows really what happened? It was down to the ground when I got back. So, but you saw you saw smoke from the restaurant. Yeah. And did somebody say hands? I think that's your place. That down? was yeah. It was Paul Perlowski actually. It's another friend. Eh? And Paul said. Uh, is hey, that hands. your place on fire laughing and kidding and that's just ah why would somebody do that i mean well and then i got over here and the fire trucks everything was here and i'm like what the hell's going on well so that it's, must have been quite a shock so all your stuff was probably in there well yeah i lost a fair bit of stuff the furniture and what do you do and so for the last couple of years you've been kind of roughing it a little bit in this holiday trailer it, yeah well which is older but it was cheap so it was older it's been doing the trick and uh i when i get time usually the winter time i strip copper and i keep myself occupied so it's, and this firewood well people usually want it to burn in their wood stove so i give it to them well so I guess uh, you said you had some stuff in your shed there, but somebody's broken into it. Yeah, actually, I lost probably ten to fifteen dollars worth, thousand dollars worth of tools in here. But there again, the only things that are gone are the stuff that they wanted. Right. Yeah, it looks like people. So I guess when you go away and work, they just kind of help themselves to whatever. Well, that's what it seems like. So. Wow. So. How is it going to be to 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 move away from this place here and maybe look at a house in a little bit? It'll make it a lot easier, and then maybe it'll be. But I still, I you know, I still can't believe it's even going on. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, it doesn't feel real yet. No, it's it's just like actually, I'm dumbfounded that so many people actually love Alex and myself for what we do for people. Well, this is all about you, Hans. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> this is all helping the Viking. That's what we're doing here. But I'm gonna follow Hans over to a place in town. We actually found a, a house that we're gonna go look at. So that's where we're going. We gotta go follow him. And uh, yeah, go check out hopefully what's gonna be his new home. at the option of getting a trailer and that still might be in the works but 
Um, there's a little place that's been renovated. It's not huge, but Han said he doesn't really want a place that's all that big because it costs a lot of money to, uh, to heat and you know, it, it, it's the upkeep. You have to think about a place that's gonna be easy for him to maintain and easy for him to, uh, to look after. So even a place like this will be, uh, you know, probably a step in the right direction. Well, Let's do a little walk the, around. That's the place. This is the back of the house. This is the back and then they got the sheds and stuff, which is kind of nice too. Yeah, well, you keep tools and whatever else in there, right? And there's room. You could put a garage or something. Your neighbors have a big shop there. You could put something here. Well, let's walk around front. It looks like it's got, you know, newer siding maybe. The windows have been done. It says that uh, it was insulated not that long ago. Yeah, I think, well, they did do a bunch of work on the inside as well. Yeah, it looked pretty clean uh, from the pictures. It's been sitting for a little bit, from my understanding. These people then, moved away, but the... I don't think it would take a whole bunch to... Well, you're a pretty handy guy. If anybody could fix this place up, it'd be you. Like, I don't know if it's on footings or not, but for the price they want for the land and for the house, it would be yeah, very economical. Yeah, you're right. It's basically, at the end of the day, the same price or maybe even cheaper than just buying a trailer and moving um, it. It's actually cheaper because by the time you figure out a lot here is usually about 20000 so... Yeah. Yeah. Figuring that lot and house for say thirty eight to forty eight thousand, that's pretty cheap for the whole lot and barrel. Eh? Oh, then you could just move right in too, right? Yeah, and then I got enough to kind of help me out with a couple of the finances and stuff and get me going that way too. So. Yeah, leave a little bit left on the plate. So, well, this fella should be here soon, but you know, it's a pretty cute little place. But the new pool is going over here. Wait, so you're telling me right off your front door here, possibly there'd be a brand new swimming pool right across the street? And actually that might be work for the winter, so that'd be good too. Yeah, well that'd be pretty handy to have the pool right there. Yeah, well then I could go swimming and hopefully, you know, I could have one of these pretty ladies come join me sometime. <laughs> there you go. Well, <laughs> you got a place for them to come visit with you now, so. Well, that's right. <laughs> LTC. Yeah, it's yeah, a little... Take, take uh, oh, the power must be shut off. No, it's oh, well. maybe, No, on. it is on. It's Power's on. Power box here. Oh, this must be the bed. Oh, yeah. So, Hans, what, what are you doing? You're looking for a place, are you? Well, Hans is, yeah. Um, yeah, just something to maybe fix up or whatever, eh? Well, okay, so the floor is heaving. Pretty good. Is it? I don't know how we'll build well, it. I'm thinking maybe the foundation maybe needs a little work. Yeah. Well, really, wouldn't if the structure underneath is good, this house actually has a chance to remain. Well, I think she lived here for seven or eight years. I can't. I don't even know what her name. I is. mean, it seems to be fairly sound, other than it got a couple of. It's sound enough. But it's a matter of knowing what the foundation is doing. Well, we'll see if we can have a look at it from the outside. I guess the benefit of this place is that, I mean, everything works, right? Like you could move in tomorrow pretty much, right? Like well, you could be living here tomorrow. Um, the downside is that for about the same price, we could get a real nice trailer moved in on your land, but then you got the expense of putting the footing, the pilings and all that other stuff, right? Which can eat up a bunch of money. I would, yeah. I would almost say, if we could find a nice trailer that's around 35, offer them 35 on this maybe and say, hey, listen, it just doesn't make sense for us because this house needs some work. If well, they it say yes. It does need a lot of work. I mean, you can tell the floor is kind of needing the, yeah. the foundation, right? I mean, I mean, it's got a gas range, you know, and it, it seems funny, you know, we're, we're looking at places over top of a camper, right? But when you got the option to get something nice, you may as well make sure you get something real good. <laughs> oh, well, we're not going to keep you in the camper, Hans. That would defeat the whole purpose. Right, right? I know. I wouldn't want to upset all my beautiful fans. So, I mean, and Alex is no, no, we, fans, so we want you to be happy, though, right? Um, the, the other benefit is this place is smaller. So it's going to be easier to maintain and easier and to work on. That's kind of what I would like is something small because I am, like I say, I am never home. Yeah.
Well, I mean, luckily okay, you're a handyman. But I know how to do all that stuff. I could fix this siding. It's got holes in it because of hail or something. Yeah. Uh, the soft fascia. It's got a new roof, which is a, a thankful thing. Yeah, new roof. So, I mean... It's got new windows. And it's got decent windows in there. So, I mean, it does have some benefits. And then there's just this foundation. It's yeah, it's going to need some work. That's yeah. that's the biggest thing, right? there. I mean, the siding and stuff is small, but to get the foundation fixed up. And so we just went inside. We made an offer, 35000 Canadian on this that's property and building given the fact it needs a lot of renovation so he's talking to the owner right now and i guess we'll see what they come back at so hopefully there's a realm <laughs> of negotiation here can happen and leave some money on the table for some renovations and other work but the plus is you'd be warm there. you could move you could be like keys next week when they get the check and you just you know you got a place to stay you got a warm well that's kind of a beneficial factor oh absolutely and really i think then a guy can lift it up and try to put a proper foundation underneath it come next spring or whatever, right? Because we're running into winter months now. So... And for context, because people don't know watching at home, a house even this size in this town normally would be about 90000 probably. It, yeah. It's listed it low. The troubles that it's yeah, the Yeah, so foundation. it's already listed about half of what it would be if it was fixed up. So if you do some work to it, you still have a lot of you know, there's money left on the table if you put some money into it. Yeah, know, that's, that's where it would all end up anyway, because that's what these beautiful people give them the money for, is to have uh, me in a decent place. So that's what I would want you guys to well, see from this whole thing. I think they want you to be happy, though. And actually, I would be happy knowing my viewers are happy. Oh, see, there you go. I, You're trying to, to help me, other people. I, I've never been about Hans. It's never been... And I, like I say, I do appreciate the fact that all these viewers are seeing this. And I, it breaks me down knowing that there's that many fantastic people out there. And uh, I would like to have... I guess if we could get it for 35 that would be cheap enough... And we can fix it up and make it look like a million bucks at yeah. the end of the day. Well, and it, like you said, it doesn't cost much to heat 750, 800 square well, feet yeah, or whatever. No, and that's the right space for a single man like myself, right? Yeah, but what about, all those, what about all the dancing girls that are going to hey, come Hey, well, you? maybe, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have to build an addition onto it. <laughs> well, that, if that has to happen, I know just the right man to do it. <laughs> the met there. Maybe you could get house jacks underneath it and straighten her out a bit yeah no i'd be able to get it up and i'd be able to put a footing around there then it would bring it all to where it needs to come which i've done before so i mean it's not something that scares me all right that's all done folks the, the viking has a house <laughs> no no we'll fix her up and we'll have the episodes of fixing it up for you folks so you can see everything in the finished stages. Yeah, Hans is going to do uh, some, some work on it, but at least you've got a place to be this winter. You've got lots that you already own that you could maybe sell or do something with. So good news, happy news. Okay, folks, um, Hans and the realtor and myself are all going over to meet at a restaurant just off the highway here. Uh, after a lot of careful negotiating and careful chatting, so the, the ask price was 48,000. We got it for 41 um, because it needs a little bit of work. But Hans is a handyman, so he's able to fix it up. And once that place is actually fixed and in uh, good condition again, it's probably worth about 80 or 90, which probably cost Hans about 10 to fix it up. So there, it's an investment property as well for Hans. And uh, the most important thing is that it's gonna be a place for him to stay this winter. So uh, after everything was said and done, we figured this would be the uh, you know the most cost-effective way for him to get a house. Uh, it would be a good investment, and uh, if we were to move a trailer over to his other lot, uh, although we could find one for thirty-five, you know, thirty-five thousand or so, moved in, nice one. Um, frankly, nicer than that house is there's all the additional costs of building a foundation for it which this area requires and um, getting the power lines and the water hooked up and all that so 
frankly, we just don't have the extra money to go uh, and do that. It, this at least gives hands a bit of a cushion. He has the skills to fix it um, and it's gonna be just fine. Hi on there. That's your initials? Yeah, I have drivers in there. Well, we're outside Sammy's and the uh, deal is all final. It's all done. And now it's to just make the, the payment on it. So I got to check That's with right. the bank and... Uh, make sure the money's in there. So for anybody watching, uh, you've just bought this man here a house. Thank you to all you kind folks and because I'm just in awe. I'm just it's amazing what the YouTube community and everybody has done and gotten together. Uh, so yeah, within a, a week or two, we should have keys and uh, we're gonna leave the GoFundMe up for a couple days because uh, we said we would and we'll see what we can do. So everything else is gonna go towards fixing up the house and furniture and whatnot. So it's all said and done. Thank all. you folks. <laughs> so that's it guys, we did it. Hands not only, I mean, it's crazy to think we just, we're trying to get him some heat for winter for that little trailer. I'm glad that he's not staying there this winter. Uh, I know he's become used to it, but it's gonna be such a nice adjustment for him to get into a house, uh, to get some furniture in there and really make it home. We were chatting at the restaurant. Um, Hans has a son, which he's hoping uh, may have an opportunity to come visit him. And now that he's got a house and a, and a place for him to stay, um, things just couldn't be better for him. So I'm very, very glad and very grateful to all of you for putting this effort forward and getting Hans that property. He uh, gets keys in a couple weeks and it's very, very exciting. So uh, I'm sure we'll do more updates down the road as he does renovations. Hans is actually invested in doing a little renovation series out there at his house. Um, so I'll make sure to go out there and we can get the coverage on that. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos. Uh, just an amazing day. Uh, a lot of wonderful things happened and we really did change someone's life today. We as being the YouTube community. So thank you all so much. Um, just very, very grateful again. Have a wonderful day, guys. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.